呃、uh, ，next is the smooth metric H E P L， 对盘长 E P L， 算出来它的 corresponding curvature is big or equal to negative E P L omega。Omega of course is a killer metric, killer form。So a vector bundle is ample. Uh, if uh the topological uh the 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 hyperplan lamp bundle of, on a projective uh. Uh, on, a, on a projective bundle of dual bundle of the E is an ample lamp bundle. Okay, so reduce the positivity uh, to of a vector bundle uh, to the positive lamp bundle is uh, quite ingenious. Uh, still, we don't have a very good uh, differential geometry understand of this notion. So now, uh, in the previous theorem, we introduced uh, so-called simple normal crossing divisors and log complex. Now let's, let me recall the definitions. A complex on a complex manifold, a divisor a D is called a, sim a, sim a simple normal crossing if uh, the every reducible component D I in the summand is smooth and all the intersections are transverse. Okay. Uh, so that means for any point uh, P, we choose the local coordinate and uh, the corresponding divisor uh, should be given by actually this mi in this case would be o equal to one okay so it's simple normal crossing okay we there's no multiplicity we don't uh, here in a neighborhood okay so it's uh, that means it's like a, each divisor is like a coordinated plan hyper plan so the shift of uh, terms of differential p form on x we set the most logarithm poles along d uh, is denoted by omega p log d. Okay, so this is was introduced by Dolin uh, in 1969. Uh, it's the shift. Good sections on open side v of x are given by uh, local local section on this uh, open uh, neighborhood of some point, for example. It's uh, given, but it's defined by this form belong to omega p with simple uh, pole. It's a differential d from differential. It's also has simple pole corresponding. So locally, that means we have a basis uh, for the first uh, S or K, uh, first S coordinate uh, in a divisor. Uh, defining the divisor, uh, we use log C, D log Z as a basis. The rest use, uh, just use the ordinary basis DC. Uh, so the theorem. Uh, Uh, we proved, okay, uh, it's a, the main result um, is the following. Okay, so we we consider uh, we consider a compact killer manifold of dimension n, okay. and we suppose that uh, we have a, a simple normal crossing divisor as defined above, and we consider a lamp bundle such that n tensor O x uh, this. Uh, 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 this uh, corresponding R divisor, we use a real, we allow real coefficient, okay? Uh, we also introduced uh, a corresponding uh, real lamp bundle, okay? So that means we allow its coefficient uh, to be real numbers. Okay? And in the, in the past, there's uh, the notion of a real divisor, okay? So we, we just define uh, the corresponding lamp bundle is uh, AI, summation of AI, and uh, IOI, IOI is the corresponding lamp bundle uh, to the divisor DI. Okay. And uh, here, this uh, uh, NABLA, okay, or this delta is equal to summation AI DI, and uh, it's an R divisor uh, with uh, some real numbers AI in between zero and one. Okay. And uh, the United in that case, we have HQ, uh, X, Omega p uh, log d times n equal to zero. For well, any p plus q uh, bigger equal to n plus k plus one. Okay. So this is uh, uh, our vanishing theorem okay, by using geometry. So here we used uh, uh, the notion, we introduced this notion, uh, so-called so real uh, lamp bundle, R lamp bundle. Okay, we use its curvature. Okay. For example, uh, this is more flexible uh, for our purpose. Uh, we, for instance, we have uh, a positive lamp bundle uh, L with metric H, okay? and we can formally write uh, square roots uh, three L and H to the 
power square root three because the curvature is well defined, right? Because taken taking logarithm, and uh, the corresponding curvature is uh, just given by the multiple uh, of square root three of the cur curvature of the lamp bundle uh, L with a metric H. So that's a uh, uh, very flexible when we construct uh, by proving some vanishing theorem and uh, identify the shift cohomology to L2 cohomology and using harmonic theory. So we can rewrite uh, the previous uh, theorem uh, in the following uh, form. Okay. So we consider a compact uh, k the manifold of dimension n and uh, a divisor D, same, uh, uh, simple normal crossing, okay? and uh, each DI is irreducible. And uh, we consider uh, delta, uh, which is an R divisor. That means uh, a, uh, AI, the coefficient in the linear combination, uh, DI, uh, DI is irreducible, AI are real numbers, with AI in zero, between zero and one. And F is a K positive real line bundle, such that uh, F tensor O X, uh, O minus delta, uh, is a lamp bundle. Uh, then the corresponding, uh, shift cohomology, okay, H Q X is logarithm complex and the tensor F, tensor, uh, O, uh, minus delta, okay, the corresponding real lamp bundle, uh, delta, okay. Of course, this makes sense because we assume F tensor O minus uh, delta, uh, square delta, is it, a lamp bundle. Okay, so this is a reformulation of a previous uh, theorem for any p plus q, uh, bigger or equal to n plus k plus one. So in particular, when p equal to n equal to dimension x, uh, omega n log d equal to kx tensor o, uh, the o d, uh, d, the square d is the corresponding to uh, the lamp, lamp bundle corresponding to the divisor D. Okay. And uh, in that case, uh, this O uh, D times O minus delta equal to O uh, one minus summation, one minus AI, uh, DI, is still effective. So that's, that's uh, the special case. So uh, morally, we, for general P, uh, this omega P log D is uh, more or less uh, has a uh, equivalent in some sense, omega p plus d, that means has a simple pole, it is a p4. So there are several applications, so as a corollary, several applications. Uh, the first one, uh, we can have a log type of a Gibbous vanity theorem, and then the Rimatu Delin elusive vanity theorem on compact killer manifold by taking uh, delta equal to zero, that's a real divisor equal to zero. So the color is uh, we can see the compact k the manifold dimension n and um, a simple normal crossing divisor d. Uh, we if we have a k a positive lamp bundle l over x, then h q omega p log d times l equal to zero for any p plus q uh, bigger equal to n plus k plus. So this is log generalization of Gibbs vanity theorem, okay? and also the log type uh, for uh, Poitier's vanishing theorem for ample vector bundles. So on my third, we stated for lamp bundles, but for vector bundle, for ample bundle or positive corresponding uh, still work. Okay, so you will see the proof works very well. Uh, so we consider compact k the manifold dimension n, and consider a simple normal crossing divisor d. Okay, so we suppose E uh, over x is ample vector bundle of rank R, then HQ omega p log d times E, equal to zero, okay, so this is shift cohomology equal to zero, for any p plus q, big or equal to n plus r. Okay. So that's a, a log type, log generalization for the Poitier's vanishing theorem for ample vector bundles. And also uh, a log generalization uh, for Akizuki, Kodaira, Nakano, or vanishing theorem, okay. uh, log vanishing theorem, okay, so that's a, um, so we consider a compact k the manifold of dimension n and uh, d a simple normal crossing divisor. Uh, suppose we have a lamp bundle f and the positive and the, our positive real number uh, m such as the, uh, the multiple of f equal to l plus d prime 
Here, D prime uh, is a uh, effective normal crossing R divisor, and the L is a K positive real line bundle on X. Then we have this uh, shift cohomology. Okay, so it uh, looks very uh, complicated shift, but uh, actually it's relatively clean. Okay, so HQ omega P log D, this log log part, log form, tensor F tensor O X. This uh, uh, this is a uh, minus summation, okay, of, from one to s, and one plus the integral part of new i over m, and the di. So this is a corresponding lamp bundle. Okay, so we'll shift, if you like. Uh, so this is equal to zero for any p plus q bigger or equal to n plus k plus one. Okay, so so k positive that means uh, it's a weaker than ample. So we allow the integer uh, k. Uh, we need to p plus q should be bigger. Okay. So in particular, when I is ample and d, d prime equal to d and p equal to n, we get a Kawamata vivex value here for this as a special case. Okay. But um, okay. So now we uh, let me give you a, a brief sketch of our argument, our proof. Okay. So remember, our main theorem is uh, stated as follows. So we consider a compact Kähler manifold. Okay, and uh, a Simple normal crossing divisor, and uh, also a line bundle n such that n tensor O x uh, delta, okay, as um, O x delta, that's uh, considered as a line bundle, okay, a real line bundle. It's a k positive real line bundle, okay. Delta is a real divisor. Okay, uh, so a summation a i d i and a i is in between zero and one. Then h q omega p log d this log shift. Tensor n will be zero. Okay, for any p plus q bigger or equal to n plus k plus one. Okay, so okay, so there are some um, I think generalization of this our method and uh, um, result uh, to how the module by uh, yeah Deng and also some uh, algebraic geometers uh, give a different proof on a projective manifold of some of the result. In this case. Now let me briefly uh, sketch uh, the argument. Now my idea is uh, to consider this L2 type to both isomorphism. Okay. So we consider, uh, we first find the L2 as a uh, fine sheaf resolution of this uh, sheaf we consider. Okay. We want to prove the vanishing. We consider compact Kähler manifold, okay, and uh, a simple normal crossing divisor with a smooth Kähler metric, omega p, uh, on y minus x minus d, uh, that's an open manifold. Uh, standard metric is a complete metric, is pancreat type. Okay, we complete finite volume. It's a very good metric, uh, canonically uh, used in many cases. And uh, then there exists the smooth emission metric on HLY, on L restricted to y. Such that this shift omega p log d times OL over x has a fine resolution given by the L2 double complex. Okay, so this L2 double complex uh, is given uh, by this uh, uh, here, okay, and uh, it's a D-bar complex. Okay. That means uh, this ID differential form with the induced metric is L2, it's D-bar, is also L2. Okay. And uh, that means we have an exact sequence of this uh, shift, okay, and uh, of course this star P star means we have a D-bar and go on, okay, the form, uh, PQ form goes on. And this is a fine shift. Okay. Uh, in particular, once we have this fine resolution, uh, we have this uh, isomorphism of cohomologies. The shift cohomology is isomorphic to the L2 cohomology on Y, on open manifold. And uh, also by using L2 hard theory, uh, it uh, can be understood by using harmonic forms, L2 harmonic uh, L2 form. Okay. So the difficulty is to construct actually uh, this L2, uh, this uh, metric, Okay, this I, I, I HIOY. Okay. And then we prove L2 vanishing theorem by using uh, Omander's uh, L2 uh, D bar estimate. Uh, it's given, of course, this is a very famous uh, one. So we consider a complete Kähler manifold together with a emission vector bundle on M and assume uh, this uh, curvature term, okay? Uh, here, uh, this uh, lambda is, uh, of course, the dual of this uh, wedge product by Hodge, uh, by Hodge class, uh, by Hodge uh, form, uh, by Kähler form, 
Okay, so this A is a standard form in the uh, argument, a curvature term uh, in the argument of uh, Kizuki Nakano uh, method. Okay, uh, it's positive. This curvature term is positive as operator on PQ forms uh, tensor E for any Q bigger or equal to one. Now for any form Q, uh, L2 form, uh, PQ form, E value of the PQ form such that D bar uh, T equal to zero. And uh, this uh, integral for e, A inverse T in the product with T uh, less than, is finite, uh, bounded, okay? Then there exists the solution of the D bar equation, D bar F equal to T. Uh, of, co uh, of course, this F, so the set is phi, uh, the condition is IO2, and this IO2 has an upper bound given by the curvature form. Okay. And uh, of course, uh, we, also, we also need this lemma to prove this exactness, okay, uh, for uh, locally, actually, uh, to, to, to prove this uh, uh, exactness of this fine resolution. Okay. So this is, uh, uh, by using uh, this uh, type, trick of real line bundles, uh, we can uh, make everything work. Okay. And uh, the, the next step is to construct uh, various emission metrics on, on Y and IOY uh, such that uh, this curvature term uh, is, is positive and uniformly bounded from below uh, when acting on certain line bundle or PQ valued uh, no, yeah, this bundle valued PQ forms. Okay, this bundle is uh, even real Bundle, okay, real line bundle in the previous theorem statement. Uh, in that case, we get this uh, uh, vanishing theorem uh, by identifying the shift cohomology uh, to the harmonic L2 forms on a complete manifold Y. Okay, so I think I've finished the proof. Thank you. <laughs>